Yo YouTube, it's Mr. B from Pint of Stuff here, and I'm coming right back at you with a very special sneaker unboxing. You know that this is not a Nike SB, or an Adidas, or Adidas, depending if you're in a different part of the world. It's not even a Puma. Did I get that right? Puma? It's not New Balance. It's very much a little cheeky brand. Now, if you've been following our podcast, you know that I'm kind of a bit excited about these. Now, actually, we're going to do the traditional thing. We're going to go over here. So these are the Last Resort AB. This is the VM001 model in suede. They're the black-white edition. Now, these are in the US men's, these are a 12. That makes them an EU46. That makes them an incredibly large... UK 11 and in centimeters if you measure your foot that way there are 30. Have a little cheeky look on there so you can get all the details. Now I have looked at these we'll go back to the middle SJ. I have looked at these already um, and I have tried them on. They are a little large but we should have done this SJ. <laughs> we should have probably done that. Uh, I should probably put my foot on the box or, or measure my foot or something. But we're not really that interested at the moment. You want to know about Last Resort AB. Who are Last Resort? Well, Last Resort, um, they are a independent skater-owned sneaker brand owned by Pontus Alve. Yes, you know who he is. It's the guy who set up Polo like 10 years ago. So, like, you know they're going to be good. Now, he he's very much all about um, simplicity. He's all about skater-owned. So, first of all, before we go into more details, SJ, focus on that. Oh, look how quick she was today, people. Amazing SJ behind the camera. So, you're, like, going, well, that's just a black and white shoe. Yes, it is. But it is clean. Coming in, look at that. I love their little logo. Now, SJ have a look at the suede just have a look at everything laces extra thick vulcanized sole i'm going to flip you the sole there first of all and we're going to go can we get to this camera sj thank you because i think it's worth having a little in fact i'm going to get the other shoe out um so these these are um they're a low run shoe allegedly what does that mean so they're not no, we're back here sj i'm back here it's too quick it's too quick for me today everyone far too quick so they don't make thousands and millions of these and they're actually made in a factory in vietnam where they um they can do low run which is really really important for these guys now the thing i want to talk about first is the sole now you're like well that just looks like a, a vulcanized sole randomly there's been something a bit special designed with these. So apart from they look pretty epic, that grip there is designed in such a way that it shouldn't, it shouldn't, and I'm just going to get this light here and just tilt it ever so slightly. It shouldn't hold gravel. Gravel should fall out of that. So in, that's the logic, SJ Susan. What are you talking about? That's the logic. So the... When you're out there at the skate park, whatever, you don't just get gravel all over your board. That's what I'm hearing. The other thing, if we go and have a look at that sole, the midsole, sorry, extra thick vulcanized. Um, I'm going to spin that round there so you can get a proper look. The other thing is this suede, this black suede, it's actually, and can I come in, do you reckon, which camera do you reckon's best, SJ? Ah, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if that's going to pick up very well. But that is a really deep black. Um, it's a lovely suede. You can see the stitching there. Simplicity at its best. The laces look lovely. That's a really good camera angle, SJ, actually. Um, so we've got that. Now, the thing that I'd also, um, if we can look at the inside, SJ, and we can just get round the ankle, the, I don't know what you call that bit. I'm going to call it the in inner ankle cup, cuff, the cuff. That's a lovely leather. It feels really, really soft to the touch. That then comes down into, and you can hopefully see this, um, you can see the canvas there. And then obviously you've got um, Last Resort on the that piece of the heel um, 
of, of the inner sole. Now that doesn't go all the way on the shoe. It's um, that's just towards the back where, where your heel is, where obviously you need probably the, the 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 toughest element. And then finally, we come in on the the tongue there, um, and we've got the last resort logo. Now, if we go back to the center, if we can, SJ, um, the thing with these shoes is, in interviews, he's talked about he doesn't want all kinds of logos all over the shoe. Sometimes you just want a classic, a classic simple shape that wears well. Now, I've put these on foot already, and even though they're a little bit too big for me, um, actually, they're quite a lot too big, I'm a, a US 10 and a half stroke 11 usually, and these feel probably like if I just my end of my toe comes there and it just feels like there's too much. Now I'm going to try a ten of these, I think, um, but I, I suspect we're going to do a bit something a bit special with these. But we're just going to work out what that could be. The other thing to say is on foot, they feel super super comfy. Like that's a stupid thing to say, but because a skater's designed them. He knows where, a first of all, where, where you need padding. He knows where you need cushioning. Um, he also knows that you need tight fit. And he's well, well into shoes that fit really, really well. You know, and I'm, I've talked a lot recently on our podcast with SJ, um, which is Sneakers and Stories, which you can find on all your favorite podcast platforms. Um, I've talked a lot recently about supporting small brands. Um, and I think he's doing something interesting here. You know, Polar survived for 10 years. That is a smallish brand. And it's doing really well. Really, really well. Can he do the same with these? I think he probably can. Now, SJ's into these as well. Um, unfortunately, Decade in Guildford, which is where, which is our local skate store, where you can find these. Uh, and he does have the high as well. He doesn't have SJ's size. Otherwise, she'd be all over these. And she would definitely be be doing the unboxing now. If we go to this camera, Stray, because I want to just see if we can um, if we can get a slightly different angle, because I'd like us to also show the alternate laces um, black. Now the thing as well with the laces, let me just see if it says on this on the end of the thing it says last resort. Now we're going to try and get the aglet. Um, we're going to get this aglet, SJ. We're going to get this aglet. Um, can you see it says very clearly break free so you've got black laces all these off-white sail laces i think i would stick with the off-white sail if i'm honest um oh, they just feel really nice now i'm going to do a really weird thing they feel they smell good they smell you know they smell like shoes the shoe smell um they don't smell like jordans they don't smell that they smell like shoes um, which is a very peculiar thing to say. The other thing I'd say as well is, um, in case you're interested, in case you usually swap out your inner soles, the inner soles of those don't come out. They are fixed in there. Now, let's just have a look at the front there because lots of you like to see that. Um, there we go. So you can just about see just how that, like, if you have, right, SJ, we're going to come in there because I think people might want to see how how it's vulcanized there. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wow. If you drop it down a little bit, there you go. You can see how that is. That's like, it's a really well-made shoe, people. If we flip it, actually, SJ, let's have a proper look at the thickness there so people have got a sense for it. And you know how I was saying, like, that that, that outer sole there um, was designed so that, in theory, um, grit doesn't hold into it? Would you say that, that that's probably true? That Those seem like wider wider elements than say on a, a converse sole would you say sj sj's nodding her head shall, shall we go back to the middle sj so as i say um you can pick these up in a fair few independent skate stores they are on low run i believe um from everything that i've read so that um you know the guys have to reorder um a fair amount i believe um but oh, if you want a classic simple shoe to add to your collection you want something that doesn't shout major brand adidas um, nike converse um, which is basically nike Let, let's all be honest um these might be the shoe for you if you want to su support a smaller skate brand 
that might be the shoe and uh you know and that would uh that would that would be a good thing like we should all add these shoes to our collections just to help the brands and uh yeah i would say break free so if you don't know what we do I th hopefully you figured it out by now we do these sneaker unboxings if you'd like to subscribe it's somewhere down there somewhere don't forget to give this video a thumbs up do you like these shoes are you thinking yeah maybe i'll get a pair let us know in the comments below would you like a pair and you can't get them let us know in the comments below what size are you actually because that's one of the things i wonder a lot like i'm like this 10 and a half 11 sj's like on the smaller side you know six six and a half uk what are you let us know in the comments and of course there could well be a video appearing just about here so so go and click on one of those other ones i will probably be from a major brand and not from a smaller brand but go and have a look and uh yeah we'll see you in the next video sj are we boring you <laughs> are we boring you what do you think yay nay yay yay